proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the BioWare Classic. Beautiful. Hello Beautiful again, scenery. and welcome Rich Slaughter alongside my colleague Frank Navalo for EA Sports. Getting set to go at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club. We're located along the St. John's River in the great state of Florida. Oh, it's Florida. I didn't notice that before when it showed the title. As you can see, guys, from and let's go down to the first round one. We are stepping up to the first third place. Sight set on posting another low number here in round two. Let's get into it, guys. Welcome to round two. Here we go. Boom. Frank, did you hear the sound of that coming off the club face? It was like a cannon. We start out with another par five. Here we go. Second from an excellent lie. I won't go another club link this time because uh, we're going to see how fast these greens are this in round two. Push it to the left a little bit. We can stretch it out a little bit for this third shot. We can come in Chance not too to hard on the greens. 171. Our six iron is 179, so we got plenty of club. It's got a nice trajectory coming down to the ground, so hopefully it'll stick instead of having that big bounce and roll. We're going backwards at two miles an hour. It shouldn't affect the shot too much. Stay left, stay left, right stay here. left. Get up there, get up there. So a chance for Birdie after another solid approach shot. As long as we get a chance for Birdie, Locked guys, can't beat it. And the speed. Get in the hole, get in the hole, get in the hole. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. Just a little tap in here. Hey, man, I'll take par all day, guys, all day. Been a little too much of that, Frank, just sort of ho-hum pars. We moved up Strong one par spot five to 30 to start, seconds. Followed by a good par three. The second hole is 225 yards. Two bunkers, Rich, when you look at this par three. In between is a nice corridor. And that's really the line that you want to be looking at going at this par three. Just thread the gap, and you should safely find the green. Get down, get down. He's knocked it on the green. It's be a long birdie. A great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. This is a pretty long putt here. You'd be happy to get this to within two or three feet. You really want to take the stress out of that next putt. That was a beautiful putt. Nothing wrong with that par putt. 
These guys on the leaderboard haven't even started yet. Fairly straightforward par four Ricky now. Ricky Fowler's in first the place. Wetlands is 460 yards straight away. It is 460 yards. Uh, it can be chopped down a lot of different ways. 300-yard tee shot, and it's only 160. But if you're a mere mortal, 280, 180, the hole becomes that much longer, that much harder. Right out of the center of the bat. Did you hear that? Frank, not the longest hitter, but sometimes you win tournaments by putting it in a good spot, and that's where we are right here, 280 yards out. Yeah, 280 down the middle of the fairway. That'll never get you in trouble. Go back off this time with that wind at three miles an hour. Hopefully we can roll up to the hole. Bouncing there, baby. Got to bounce in there. Bounce in there. Now we don't get enough bounce. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now oh. we have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, Try to bounce when that green and get the roll. Let's see if he does it here. Eight yards. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. Nudge this one home, finish it up. Like I said, guys, we gotta wait, wait to the right opportunities. Right you can't blow it. <clears throat> we gotta make a move, though. Par three fourth, 250 yards, and you tee off just in front of the swamp, so golf cart's not gonna get you to the green here, is it, Frank? No, I might need an airboat to go across that. Oops, the wind's blowing a little bit to the left. Let me put that back. Oh, this looks like it's going to find the target. Still roll too fast. How am I supposed to do this? It I think I'm supposed to loft it up, though. As soon as it hit the green, it was I'm not good at shots stop. like that. As long as I'm on the green, I'm fine chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity oh, with boy. his second shot here. Way off the green. Okay, 17 yards. Get in! Ah. <laughs> This course is Just tough. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Let's par, baby. Let's par it up. Good work right there. He'll settle for par. We only uh, four back. We gotta be patient, guys. We still got round three and four. Wetlands. Par five, 635 yards. A lot going on here, Frank. The shorter hitters don't really worry about the uh, the swamp land on the left because it really only cuts in to worry the longer hitters if you want to try and reach this par five and two. So shorter hitters, two good shots, set up a wedge shot. Longer hitters, they get straight enough to hit it into the narrowest part of the fairway. Okay, we got a par five. So we can get this birdie, guys. Frank, not overly long, but still a pretty good spot and in the fairway. Yeah, that's in that 280 mark. You always want to try to get these birdies on these par fives. And I'm not going to try to go through those trees. So we're going to lay up. I don't know if it'll get through those trees, so we're going to lay up. Pushed it right, pushed it way right. Oh. Well, too bad. He'll have to play from the bunker. I don't know if we can reach the green right here. It's 
especially in the Frank it rolled out of bunker. the short grass and into the white sand, so this is third shot. Yeah, a lot of the uh, professionals would rather be in the sand than the thick rough. You can get, you can control the spin. That's a big green, man. We can make it to the green. I don't know how, how far we buried though in the sand. It says 84%. I don't know if I should give it extra club or not, but I am. Okay, here we go. Pushed it right again. Guys, we got to go for par. Out of the sand and back on the fairway. Yeah, good shot. got to go for Just, par. Uh, really utilized that little bit between the ears. Realized he couldn't reach the green and instead opted for fairway. 45 yards. Outstanding strike right there, right off the center of the club face, and a good chance for birdie. 12 feet still to go. Let's go. And he has it. A good putt Ooh, from Diesel. We say par, baby. I thought that we might have had a chance for a bogey right there. Par four sixth here at the wetlands, 440 yards and water to deal with. Two choices here, Rich. Lay it up, short of the wetlands, or well, yeah, we got to lay it up. We got to lay it up, guys. It up, and then again, we got to make sure it don't bounce in that water. Just a mere short so I'm, I'm, a, I'm really going to go uh, lay it up. Uh, I don't know. We'll go right here. Get down, get down, get down. All right, all That's right. That's the fairway. Second shot. Maybe when we have a better driver and get better distance, we could have took that shot over the water. 231 yards. That's too much. We're going to have to roll on the green here. Oh, this Push is taking left. off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks Playing like. Playing horrible right now. And it looks like it's in the rough there, Frank. It might not be Playing as bad as horrible. it looks. Just trying to make clean contact from the rough. Another good swing, another good approach shot. Don't push it, don't push it, Hollywood. All right, guys. Nothing Here wrong with have that it. Round two. We didn't gain, we didn't lose. And that wraps up another great day of golf here at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club. Frank, I really enjoyed that. We're hanging it at a minus one. As well, at the end of the day, Rich, <laughs> um, some good golf to be had. Florida is always fun playing on the Bermuda grass. And uh, once again, shout out to the uh, superintendent letting us uh, play Driving in the tournament up conditions to here at the Wetlands. And now it's on to Gator Bites and a beverage. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm Rich Lerner. Along with Frank Navalo saying so long until next time. If you'll notice, guys, most of my ratings are all around the same because we're, we're a balanced golfer. I didn't want to be like high end driving or high end putting. I want to be balanced. You no know, long putting, mid putting, short putting, driving, long game, ball striking, consistency, spin, recovery. I wanted to be balanced in everything because once we got our rating up, guys, we'd be a solid golfer in every area. And when you're a solid golfer in every area, you can win some majors. All right, we end up with a 20, we in 27 place it with a minus two, loving it. All right, now again guys, thank you for watching us playing the Barwell Classic. 
Again, as always, stay tuned for round three. But we got to make a move in round three, guys, if we ha have any type of chance, okay? Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. But if you're new to the channel, you love golf, you love sports, period, hit that subscribe button. Join the team of Hollywood Sports, and let's do it together. And as always, hopefully, I will see everybody on round three. Thanks for watching.